Hello there everyone and welcome back to Cows Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Tian Empire Lover, or also known as Mr. Zeng Tian Run Lover. But we gotta talk about that there divine meritocracy. In recent times, Imperial Examination has fallen out of favor. Between growing corruption, stagnation, and the chaos of warlords group in China, we'll reform and revive the Imperial Examination to secure for ourselves the brightest minds in China. Now we can secure real nodes, which we might be able to expand upon if we were to take out other people, but we'll see, maybe not. Um, assimilate the Ansera. It's not bad. I do like that one. Wow, social democracy goes down by 50%. Holy crap. More nap pop by 16.7%. Nice. More political power. Uh, mine expansion would be pretty good as well, even though we already have enough steel at the current moment. Uh, these guys would be good as well. Let's grab this one first. Denounce who by landlordism. Landlords and rich peasants control well over three quarters of the land in China, while the lower classes are left to fend for themselves. Often under the exploitation of these landlords, we must end these practices of rampant landlordism. In doing so, we will secure a truly loyal support base for the peasantry. Which will be a great thing. Oh. New England went to war with Canada. Okay, well, whatever. Let's get some fighters, shall we? <clears throat> um, which way has New England gone? Huh. Fair share economy, security bill, national produce. Well then. The military takes charge. Declare martial law. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I would want to go to war with them, but you know. Maybe that's just me. Liberal progressivism. Alright, well, New England's probably gonna die. <clears throat> but how about another focus? Oh, convert Baoding military cadets. Um, yeah, that'd be pretty good to get rid of. But let's go ahead and do... Ooh, more political power. Finish establishing internal control. After supervising the empire as it should be, removing the Manchu princes from power, and making the faith the engine of our political system our thoughts. Securing your position within the army as well as taking care of what remains of the Zili clique, we can safely say that our political position is not stable. The future of all of China shall shine bright under our unshakable and benevolent rule. Oh, absolutely. Uh, as we are slowly expanding the size of our military. Actually, who's this? I'm gonna say no. Oh, they're still fighting Mongolia too, or the All Right Khanate. So, let's so, so, build some roads, get some more of that stuff down there. Um, Sichuan, Guangzhou, let them kill each other off. Wow, India, the subcontinent is a gigantic mess. Belgrade Pact, of course, still trying to kill themselves. Ooh, People's Kingdom of Ukraine, huh? Radical socialists, Ukrainization, very nice. Of course, Belarus. Latvia, these guys, German Empire is still hanging out. Sejuan is gone. Union of Britain is left by a handsome, a handsome fellow. Oh my goodness, so handsome. Um, and I'm still saving up the army XP just so we can continue army reforms. That's the main thing. <clears throat> so, actually, how big is this faction? Because we will need to fight them eventually. Um, that's the case. You all. It's been just a slight bit. Oh, oh, hello. Okay, so now they finally died. Oh boy, don't tell me how long it's going to take to get this. Ooh, it's going to take a while, eh? Uh, you know what? It'll take a while, and that's okay. And here we are at, everybody, in which we've got a couple more divisions to work with. Um, I butchered Mongolia, but we'll do Xinan Mine Expansion. The city of Xinan, located in Shandong, is a typical example of a beautiful Chinese city like so many of others. It so happens that the earth beneath the city is especially abundant in valuable resources that will feed our foundries and forge our guns. Increasing our mining activities in this region will allow us to tap into this wealth for the good of all of China. And then mass industrialization, because my gosh, do we need factories? Though it is adamantly, or admittedly, not to the interest of our peasant supporters, it's clear that the factory foundering steel mills are the future of China. Denying this brought upon us the age of humiliation, but embracing it, in, at least in moderation, or moderation, will allow us, or give us a means to propel China into a new age. Which is super, super important, as, well, most of China is united against us now. Not good. That's a lot of purple. And then we have our own sphere, but this is only half our territory because the other half is led by these guys, so. Not good. Not very good at all, I do say so myself, but we'll see what happens. Um. Any cavalry leaders? Oh, yeah. I guess so. You can come up here too. Do the best you can. See what happens. If you die, then you die, but you know. That's a sacrifice we're all willing to make. Not since we don't command power. Uh, oh. Xi Ting. Smiley guy. Very smiley. Also, we do need to demobilize eventually. And they'll get some extra political power, which actually be really nice, but still. Alright, after that one. Rail nodes, two infrastructure. I want to do... This is pretty good. If we do this, the faster we do this, the more national popular support we get. And Sarah has similar support base. <clears throat> 
and interest to our own. They command the favor of the peasantry. We command the favor of the peasantry. They wish to aid the common folk of China, and so do we aid the common folk as well. Perhaps bringing them to the table will be fruitful. Oh. The Hongmu Ding. Archaeological excavations on Anyang, Henan province, have unearthed a massive bronze burial vessel from the Shang dynasty. Thought to be the largest ancient bronze in the world, its discovery has been celebrated around the world as a massive victory for the Chinese culture and history. With the third of Japan looming, however, archaeologists have buried the sarcophagus, hoping that once we have defeated Japan, we can exhibit it safely in a museum. Welcome to China. Not bad. We also did grab this down here. The uh, Kang Pig Mines Industry, which would be very nice, very nice. As our soldiers are getting attacked in the mountains of Shangxi, which really sucks, but hopefully gives us enough time to make enough divisions ourselves so that we don't die when we fight them all down here. Uh, train of you need to, because I know you need a train. That'll be good. Oh, hello. Well, that's not good. Uh, these guys are really tight in combat with, but at the same time, they're not bad, actually. Uh, we really need to make them at least 18, so let's go with that. We need way more guns. I think I thought we would have enough gun to produce, but it just never seems like it. Never seems like it. But in the meantime, so demobilize. We could use slightly more wars, but we can go with that one for now. And we're about done with army reforms, which is awesome. Military disloyalty sucks. Ooh, ooh, that's not good. And they look weak. Ah, uh, don't get encircled. Back out, back out if you have to. It's totally fine. If oh, well, look at this Belgrade Pact. There you go. If they could just hold out here, that'd be great, but I kind of doubt they can. Which means this is going to really suck when we go to fight them. So, <clears throat> In the meantime, we're still building ourselves up here, which is okay. I really don't want to demobilize at all. I mean, we will if we have to, but still. We just don't have enough divisions to cover everything. Mass industrialization would be very good, though. But yeah. Keep learning, keep learning. Learn now to be a trickster as well, it's very good. And 21 army XP. Oh, can't promote this guy. I need way more command power, that sucks. Hey, good job taking that back. As long as we can hold him out here, they won't attack us, hopefully. Then again, Japan will eventually attack us too. Which does suck, so. Assimilate, 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 assimilate. We got another factory or two, that'd be great, 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 because we're out of so many guns. Oh my goodness, we got plenty of artillery though. Lots and lots of artillery. Here, do that. We have almost enough to uh, supply. And 21 combat is not ideal, but it, it'll work. It'll work for what we need. Bring these guys over, that'd be good as well. I want more war support, but this stuff is. Oh, that's not bad. Fire plans, ships. A lot of it's just blueprints. Red Spirit's assistance is not terrible. It's not great, though. You lose organization, which I really don't want, and you lose even more organization down here, too. And recovery rate. But you get way more better reinforce rate. We get 4% more. Oh, wow. Population, that's pretty decent. And even lose even more division organization. Wow, that sucks. Wait. Own combat with minus 9%. How does that work? Way more max entrenchment, though. Oh, this would be really good to get. Weekly War Sport 2 goes up. But secure rail notes. I want to finish all this off first. Despite our newfound hold on the bureaucracy, some of our enemies persist in resisting our benevolent rule by sabotaging our railroads, hampering our logistics and military supply routes. Seeing your men to secure these rail nodes will get uh, rid of the vermin who still dare to res resist who dare to resist will solve this problem. Nice. Six days left. They're still attacking. Nice. He's going to be learning a lot here, hopefully. A lot. Oh, crap. Oh, we lost 5% stability. Well, you know what? Whatever. Keep it keep it high for now. And since we're down here, we could get more naval stuff. But I'm kind of okay on that. Yeah, actually, we could use that immediately. 5% is not very much, but I'll take it immediately. And then we'll probably grab... Ooh, more sub stuff. I want more sub attack and defense, yeah. Sa Benjin. That's probably gay, the gay, the guy we want to go with. Uh, get more output first, too. Just lots and lots of output. Surprised he hasn't uh, leveled up yet. He is politically connected, to though. And that does suck. Fighter ones. Yeah. Hey, that definitely helped out guns, though. Yeah, we're surrounded pretty much on all sides at this point. Nice. Scale rail nodes? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Get two infrastructure each. Which all was resources and stuff, too. Well, I guess doesn't really help with that much. But whatever. Um, let's come over here. Here goes Armenia. Let's grab you. No. Sa. 
Yes. Guard coup. Bring these guys over. Yeah, I want to build up cities faster. Oh, there goes Poland. But then they're in the right spot. Well, I already have your existing ties with the Guiyidao. They nonetheless have formed their own individual sphere of influence. To achieve true unity, we'll bring them more directly into the fold. Look at Paraguay and... Oh. Nice. Very nice. Just give us enough time to build up our, our uh, military it's, itself. Because we have horses over here. We've got infantry all down here. Uh, these guys will be our allies, which will be very helpful. And then we have to fight another land war over here, too. So we are down to seven over here. Three cavalry divisions at all times. So we'll see how well we do. More ground support would be nice. And actually, I'm going to put you as high. Because they have to be high priority here. Nice. Very good. How are we doing over here? Oh, uh, looking okay-ish. <clears throat> and Spirit Firepower will win the day for us. Nice. Good stuff. Oh, that got it worse because we just made another division. Artillery sucks now. We just don't have enough of anything. Oh, please don't attack. Please don't attack. Attack bombers. Nice. Could get better guns. Wasn't big bush war. Not bad. And then it's gone now. Yeah. See, they're going to, they're still going to attack no matter what. So there's no point attacking. All right, so now with this, we're going to go Spear Firepower. Just because we're going to use a lot of already here. As much as I want more entrenchment. That's really nice and all, but still. This one. Oh. Tian Empire does not exist. Requires all the following. Ah. Bring the Gui... Gui Yi Dao over at Holy Roads. Uh, Sheng Ting Gang Kuo. Well, they still exist, so we have to wait for them to complete that one focus for a model colony. Oh, it's the model province. And then we might be able to annex them directly. Which would be great. So let's wait to do that one. We might get more roads that way. Convert the Baoding military cadets. To ensure loyalty. Uh oh. In the military. Total loyalty. We will introduce our teachings to new cadets and recruits. If they are loyal to heaven, their integrity shall never be in doubt. Just keep on learning, man. Keep on learning. You're doing great. Still level one, though. Which really flipping sucks. But sometimes you can't, you can't help it. After that one, we'll do that one. Uh, new plane designs. Rewrite the Baldin curriculum. The current military curriculum is either based on outdated lessons from wars such as the Valkyrie is marred by politicalization from the influence of glory seeking officers and charlatans. We must overhaul doctrines and strategies to fit these new age fit the new age of warfare. Well, everybody, now we're doing the legitimate emperor finally. So if you don't want to read this again, please go right ahead. I think I read this one in the last episode, but we demand their integration because they've done the metal colony one. Now we get defending the emperor. We're attacking defense on core territory. And now we can do prepare for the storm. Oh, we get another research slot. You can't even see what's down here because it's hidden behind the continuous focuses. Uh, branch. They were initially skeptical of their influence. Our benefactors brought us an enormous amount of benefits over the last few months. With their help, we are now more than ready to stand up to whoever threatens us. Awesome. Oh! We actually straight up integrate them. Oh, holy crap, that's a lot of divisions. Um, and we need divisions, but still. You guys are actually 20 combo. That's not bad. But, I don't want to trash yet. Let's convert you guys to these types, and I'll just throw you right there. Nine divisions, not bad. Um, in all honesty, at this point, uh... What we gonna do? Do we get the? Oh, do we get their leaders? I hope we did. I think we did. Oh goodness, yes. No one's a cavalry. Silesia. There you go. Uh, bing bong, bong ding. And all honesty, uh, at this point, we're just gonna do it like this. Shangxi will fall eventually. Like I'm not gonna be unrealistic and say it's gonna stay there, but basically, we'll do something like this. It kind of sucks. Whatever. Fifty-six more divisions, but we have thirty-five factories uh, now. Now we need way more political power to integrate everything. God dang it, that sucks. Oh, now we're way over our limit. Way over our limit. Holy crap. Once we core more stuff, that'll be good. Uh, militia. Uh, it, that's not terrible. We need guns, so we'll get rid of some of that guy. Some of those guys already. And where are we at now? Hey, we're actually positive with guns. That's awesome. So give us a little bit of time. We'll, we'll organize all this stuff. And Holy Roads is on campaign. Yes, Holy Roads. Though we have no lack of peasants, workers, and artisans, our empire is vast, and the rocks between seas and villages are poorly maintained. A general improvement of the roads across China make, shall make the common folk able to move around themselves and their labor quicker and safer. A pe safe peasant is a productive peasant. Nice. Didn't get that many more resources, but whatever. Oh, there's research. Getting another research will be super helpful, too. Alright, so what else do we have? Uh, you guys are what? 
Not terrible either, but I'm going to convert you guys to this anyways. And right there, it's fine. Uh, more cavalry, which would be good. 16 combo with now. National Garys, there you go. Let's put you in your two. There you go. Both of you go there. Um, I was going to tell you just convert to this type, maybe eventually. You're not going to have enough equipment for a long time, but that's okay. You know what? Save on stuff for now. We could delete it. Yeah, save on equipment. And that, it hurts our economy keeping that many right now, but at that point, that's not terrible. Go low. Go low. That's fine for now. And you will be led by this guy, because we can. Nice. So then all these guys should be able to do something like that and be relatively okay. Because there will be one massive front. Actually, you know what? Stay with infantry. I don't want you to put you with anyone else yet. Anti-air maybe eventually as well. Guns, artillery. This would be bad to do, but whatever. We'll do it anyways because we can. And begin integrating the Zijang province. Yes. Prepare for the storm, holy roads. Very good. Oh, and we also... Where did the vision go? Oh, why are you down there? Oh, well, doesn't really matter, I guess. <clears throat> Can you actually win there? Oh, look at that. Oh, a fifth research slot. Ah, oh, beautiful. Yummy, 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 yummy. 1939, of course. Get some better recon because we can. We'll get some logistics eventually as well. And launch the National Purification Campaign. Where the political position was secure, our influence felt throughout our people's society and our enemies eliminated. The Grand Master and the Emperor decreed that it was high time to march forth from the gates of Beijing to smash all corrupt warlords and revolutionaries and purify our nation from the perfidious taint. China, long divided, shall unite. Yes. Very good. Integrating provinces sucks, but... It's definitely well worth it. Jingdao MP18? Well, we can wait on that. Grab the logistics because we're going to need that. How much are we out of everything? Guns are looking okay-ish now. We'll do that. We'll actually lower you by two, probably. We need way more arty, so lower by two. We'll get some more support equipment. We'll get more of everything. I mean, it's just going to take time. So we're trying to build up our civvies, our industrial base. We have only 37 factories, which sucks. Is this planes? It is planes. They're still winning to a degree. Uh, how's, how's he faring? He's still level one. Oh my goodness, dude. Seriously, learn. Get some knowledge. Making more divisions? Nice. We'll have a very strong military by the time we're done here. Um, how much population is that? Three million? It's not super worth it. Fujian? Uh, it's not... Eh, 60. You might as well just get it done as fast as you possibly can. Less resistance, the better. So, of course, we do have this as well. Civilian oversight, resistance, and stuff like that. So, we're good. You we'll probably cut this down just a little bit too. There you go. Cut it down by one more. Oh, and there goes World War II. Nice. Ah, uh, three up there because I'm using a lot of cavalry because you don't want to use motorized for this. That's that's dumb. The world's at war once again. We will of course need some garrisons eventually, but that's all right. Holy roads. Oh yes, please. Destroy the concessions. The final foe. A heavenly triumph would be very nice. Wow, 30%. Oh, look at Chicago. Um, I think I read this one earlier before we faded and faded out, so... If you want to read that again, please go right ahead. We'll probably do that one next. Destroy the concessions. <clears throat> and destroy the concessions, of course. Well, the warlords are crushed and the revolutionaries smashed. We can turn our attention finally to the greatest evil to plague China. The foreign devils of bladder civilization drive. We will not suffer any more humiliations. No more unequal treaties. No more concessions. Zongguo Wansui. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Shandong. Oh, Shandong would be really probably good to get. Uh, Shandong right here? Or is it just all this Shandong? Oh, this is Shandong. Okay. That would be very good to integrate. Anhui. Down here. Ah, uh, Shandong first. Definitely Shandong. How much do we get every day now, still? We get more than one a day. That's really strong, still. Shangxi is not quite under us, but whatever. Oh, we we're actually pushed back a little bit more. Should realize that. He's learning a lot, which is great. He was born in 1887 in the Qing Empire, Beijing. Cool. Alright, very good. Very nice. I was looking. 83. Hey, it's looking a little better now. Probably still training as much as we possibly can. Supplies might become a side issue eventually here, too. Uh, support equipment is not looking very good for us, so yeah. 15-3 is not terrible, but it could be better. 
Nice. Get some more organization if you can. Above the vision limit. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, please don't attack. 70% is pretty decent, too. No wonder we have so much political power every day. Hey! Nice. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't recommend attacking. I mean, look at that. Look at what happens when you attack. You lose territory. And that's not something we want. Actually, how much manpower do you have? Let's get a double check. Ooh, they don't have a lot. Um... Do we see any more volunteers? No. Recall. I, I love that. We can actually recall volunteers. That's really good. Improve relations. Ascent attache. We need more political power to do that. And we don't have any extra political power to spend, so. Uh, let's do this one first. We can get that reduction. That'd be good. And what else? Anything else here? What do we have? Oh, there we go. With a new ruler of North China plan solidified, we can begin to think about reaching out and securing the rest of China. The traitorous warlords that rule the land, the, uh, like petty kings, will be put to the sword. Prepare the national pacification campaign? Ooh, yes. We lose a lot of command power, though. <clears throat> While we managed to purge many of the disloyal Zili generals and their soldiers, this left our army unprepared for major, any major campaign. Before we embark on a quest to reunite China, we must ensure they are properly trained and prepared. The Qing prepared to launch a reunification campaign? Oh, I don't want to fight Feng Shan, though. I want to fight all the other warlords here. Uh, 39, of course. Grab some of that because we can. That'd be good. More horse boys. We got a lot of horse boys. I love the horses. Actually, who's the... You're the one we can't edit or change, which is stupid. Whatever. Alright, more propaganda. Um, strike West. I don't want to provoke them. Well, let's do that one, I guess. I guess. That's gonna do, maybe? Maybe not. Zhejiang? Oh, the there goes the pirates. I forgot about that faction. That's a lot of population, actually. That's really good. You know, there's a whole Sivian dockyard. Nice, 15.5. How did this help us here? Oh, a little bit. Not bad. Pretty decent, I'd say. Please don't attack AI. Please don't attack like that. Oh, go oh ooh. Look at that population, though. <clears throat> and then destroy the concessions, of course. You can always use more manpower, though. Hey, 1435 is pretty good. And then after that, we're going to grab what? It's almost 1940. Ah, uh, do research speed, why not? Five research slots, so nice. Oh, that's not good, too. I know we should be building up more military factories, but we're just trying to build up an industry real quick. Let's get one more factory done, then we'll change it up. Can we actually win there? That'd be really nice if we could. Hey, finally leveled up. Well, that's level skill level three in defense. And supply so consumption slightly better, too. Decent. Not great, but decent. Man, oh. Zhang Zulin pro promises to protect warlords. The traitor Zhang Zulin followed our announcement of the national reunification campaign with a proclamation of his own. That he will protect any warlords against their aggression. While this may make our war more challenging, and people are already beginning to see this conflict as not just a reunification war, but a struggle against Japan's wealth. I've begun to enthusiastically support the war effort. We will crush them. Crap. We better core everything first before we go to war. Strike to west or south? Heretry or revolts? Oh, yeah. Look at this, too. That's nice. More defense, yes. We start losing, we'll start pulling back out, but that's fine. Anything else here? No? Okay. Uh, destroy the concessions. And get the big swords. I want to wait to do this stuff, because as much as I want more population, we don't really need it yet. Supply consumption. Design new ships. Acquire new planes, maybe. As we invest more and more funds to develop our military, one aspect of our military that we must not neglect is the Air Force. Traditionally underdeveloped in China, acquiring modern aircraft models based on those of Europe would allow us to catch up technologically and give us a definite advantage against many warlords and the Japanese. Nice. Yeah, just hold out, guys. He's going to become a cavalry leader, which is awesome. Feng Chan. Yeah, we're going to need way more divisions. Screw this whole stupid thing up there. Go moderate. I think we should be able to hold against these guys. I mean, it's not that many divisions down here, but it's a pretty decent amount. Oh, there go the pirates. Guai is who? Failure of the... Uh, da -da -da. Buddhization Society. Alright, who's next? Strike West. Jing Jing. Yeah, we'll do that one next. That'd be good. 42 factories. Recon 2s. Uh, let's see. Happy 1940, everybody. Research speed? Yes. 94 is not bad. Nice. Look at that. Ah, oh, so good. Keep learning, keep learning, keep learning, keep learning, keep learning. 
Is supply really bad right here, or is it just because of... Uh, bad supply, okay. Oh, I don't like it with that. We'll use those. Actually, this template is what? It's not terrible. I'm thinking about using some of these for just like garrison defense. You guys, go and grab some logistics. It's fine. Goss is a little bit, but that should help us out just a sweet bit, especially around areas like here. Do that and start making some millies. Ah, 100%. That's nice. Gotta be good. Can a motion be voted on? Oh. What is this one? I don't know. I want to destroy the concessions, though. And design new ships, eventually. 1940. Grab some of this. That'd be good. <clears throat> on Wii. That'd be good. And that should help out this quite a bit more. No one's doing the Reichs pack. That's fine. Whatever. Oh. AOG. Oh, what's AOG? We have legation cities. Oh, is it? Oh, it's down here. If we go to war with them, can we actually just annex them? We might be able to. Uh, it'd be pretty risky. I don't want to fight the Reichs Pact, but we could try it. We could definitely try it. Don't want to forget about that one. Nantong. Is that the last couple areas here? Ah, uh, they went down here too. Uh, if we take all of them but that one, that should be okay, right? Integrate the Jiangsu. That'd be good to do as well. And they go to war with the Chinese Union. Put new methods, new guns. We'll design new ships first. The naval industry is unfortunately not very developed in China compared to the European powers of the Japanese Empire. We have to catch up, and to this end, we have to develop new, more modern uh, ships in order to build a real Chinese fleet worthy of the name. Are we there yet? Oh, we are there. Nice. Good, 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 good. Now we're out of guns and a lot out of a lot of already got dang it. Oh, whatever. Oh, we do go to war. They will be forced to not be here anymore, huh? That does kind of suck, but at the same time, we gotta test our metal ourselves. So, oh, we have three destroyers too. Oh, look at that. But you know what? Let's save and see what happens. We're gonna send another division back to Shangxi if we need to. And let's see what happens. I think the Germans are a little bit too preoccupied to get really involved with us over here, so... Oh, there goes Ukraine. <clears throat> Watch out, we're fighting the Cubans. Yeah, they're international, we have no beef with you right now. Oh! Oh, yeah. Yeah, guys, we'll take stuff. Retreat is gone. Oh, they can just peace out. Like, there's literally nothing they can do against us, right? Can you ask for military access? Probably not. Yeah, no, they don't like us. Don't tell me we need every single tile there. I'll probably need every single tile. King Dao. That'd be good to get. That's ours. That's ours. Albania's gone. Goodbye, militia divisions. Is that enough? And give them another day. And they're gone. Alright, so... We'll take all this off, and... Well, no aggression packs. fine with us. Uh, they're super, super, super flipping close. We have to go to war with them and piece them out that way. I don't like that. Yep. New planes. Well, in the meantime, I guess, we'll do this. They'll probably try to naval invade us at some points, but... I don't like that. I mean, if you take every single city but, like, one, they should just capitulate anyways. I mean, at least that makes sense to me, but then again, who am I? I'm just a dude on the internet. Actually, wait, can we actually naval invade? You know what? Give me half you guys. Go here. Oh, can we Can we even naval invade? That's a good question to ask, actually. No, we probably can't. God dang it. Why does China suck so much? Get some fuel, maybe? You know, don't even put the Navy out there yet. Go home and repair. 
Oh, but that does allow us to go to War Economy. Even though I want to integrate more places, War Economy would be very good to get. Let's grab that one, too. Nice, nice. Build, build, build. Now we're running out of resources. Oh, crap. Are you kidding me, man? Take this one off. <clears throat> Our ships suck. What is this? Yeah, it's fine. Sink their subs. This gives some naval experience as well, so. After that, integrate the Red Spears. We get more war support. We don't really need that. Integrate the Big Swords. The Great Sword Society is a peasant vigilante, village, uh, vigilante group uh, that emerged in northern China during the Qing Dynasty and is renowned for the great courage of its members. They are initially a group of uh, small land owners, land, land owners and farmers who organize themselves to protect their villages against bandits, warlords, tax collectors, and even dare to oppose the Japanese. Since this society is largely composed of peasants who are also strongly traditionalists, the link between our government and the society is natural. Integrating them into our army would be greatly enhancing our military power and integrate the Red Spears. The Red Spears Society is a traditionalist and very pious peasant self-defense movement originating in the Chinese province of Henan, Haibei, and Shandong during the war era in the 20s. Like the Long Swords, they are organized in a local groups of landowners and farmers who organize to protect their village from bandits, warlords, tax collectors, and Japanese troops. We have a very friendly relationship with this group, and integrating them as part of our army would strengthen our military position. Old methods, new guns. Traditional Chinese military methods dating back to those theorized in ancient times by men such as Sun Tzu. Undoubtedly, our best options are proven their effectiveness many times throughout history, but our equipment could undoubtedly benefit from important improvements, and that is why we must invest large funds in their development. Looks like we've got some military factors too, look at that. Even though we need definitely, 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 definitely need more resources from here on out. Um, yeah, I think we definitely need a lot more resources, holy crud. Uh, we have gotten a lot of stuff done and accomplished, such as learning how to navy invade. Uh, we've got stuff to here to do as well. You know what? Start with some exclamation stuff. Uh, actually, Japan has gone to war with the Dutch, uh, Deutsch Ostasian, which actually now we have a non aggression factor with them and their allies, and they've been supplying us with a lot of equipment as well, which is really, really good. So, I'm actually very surprised that they're actually able to do that. But yeah, right now we are just trying to get down there and uh, navy invade. We've been doing relatively okay, so. Uh, get down there. Come on, guys. We want to naval invade. And we've been doing really well. So, other than that, we've been building some millies, some civvies, good stuff like that. And after this one, expand our flock. One of the greatest strengths of China is how many men uh, can be mustered up to take arms for the Empire. Leveraging the zeal and loyalty of our followers in a call to arms shall ensure we are never found wanting when the need of soldiers arises. Which, actually, you know what? We must just go to total mobilization. We lose 3%, but... Still. Screw it, we'll go 3%. Especially after expanding our flock. Focus on mass assault. What we lack in perhaps the sheer professionalism or modern equipment or the armies of foreign empires which should make for it in favor and fanaticism. For every man who makes the ultimate sacrifice, ten more shall be ready, shall be ready to make sure his is not in vain. We're going to be mobilizing now, but that's okay. We'll go to limited conscription. So 2.5 plus 4% is 6.5 minus 3% is enough. So that should be pretty decent. Alright. So actually, do this anyways because the Japanese should be down here too. So... Our ships kind of suck, but actually, do these guys have anything? Oh, they're, they're relatively experienced, too. And this Admiral's not terrible now. Sa, Zhang Bing. Hopefully we can do well down here. Oh, crap. They have a lot of divisions down there. What do we force the attack? Oh, the Zheng Jiang is down there, too. Oh, crap, man. That sucks. That's so stupid. Well, if we can't take him out of the Japanese, certainly will, so whatever. Uh, go do that, too. That's fine. So dumb. Well, we're perpetually going to be at war with Germans for a long, long time. Oh, uh, prepare strike west. Oh, what do you do the other uh, south one? The west of China is full of mountains and rough terrain. We must prepare the infrastructure of these provinces before we embark on any serious military campaign. Prepare strike east. The mountains have blocked our troops' final movement. East must be traversed if we were to secure the coast. Military engineers will be put to work ensuring our troops will be well supplied in case any on any campaigns they embark upon. Go on and see federal government, huh? Are we really ready to take these guys out? Eh, we'll see. We're still fighting Shang-Chi, which is actually really good for us, but still. Uh, go back and do this for now. And we have to be prepared for Feng Shang, because they might also attack us as well if we attack these guys, so. It really sucks. How are these guys not losing any sort of organization? Ooh, it's only militia and cavalry now. Chinese collaborators, huh? Hey, look at that, nice. 
There's only two divisions in there. They're not even losing anything though, so just go ahead and hold. It's fine. Go back. Well, he's definitely learning quite a bit. <clears throat> you know what, for now, I'm going to actually tell you guys to do this as well. Stop that. And do this. Because even though we don't, definitely don't have enough to guard all the ports and whatnot around here, especially like Nantong. So many small little areas here. It, it, it's a start of something. It's not a great start, but it's a start of something. So, you know what? Can we do both these? And maybe attack Hunan? I love Hunan. Hunan clique. Plenty of manpower. Lots of manpower. This might be a really bad idea. I want Hunan, though. We could try it. And if it goes poorly for us, well, that's not good, but that gives us direct access to there, and we could kill them out that way. Alrighty, well, we'll see what happens. We can remove, stop doing that for now. Just keep protecting our shores and whatnot. Plane wise, we're doing okay ish. Not great, but okay ish. You guys are pretty much ready to go. And you guys are also pretty much ready to go as well, so. Spanner Flock would be great. Focus on mass assault. Oh, look at this! Yes. Better supply consumption. Yes, please. Developing our edge. Well, zeal and enthusiasm will get us far. Our army is still a one-trick pony. Men on the ground alone can only do so much against an adaptive foe. We must develop for ourselves a vital weapon to make sure the decisive difference happens when the resolve of our followers simply isn't enough. We got stuff to do. And I'll get more population too. Which is great. Love it. The French... Oh! Oh, that was fast. Oh, hello. Well, that was really fast. Holy crap. The Asian Union, of course. Uh, Ukraine is completely gone. <clears throat> Hopefully we do well. Hopefully these guys don't attack us. And if they do, that'd be really bad, but... Still. You know, deploy them early. Do we lose? No. Uh... We have that one field marshal. Yeah, we do. That's good. Um, on all honesty, just kind of defend the area around here. So we'll one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Something like that, maybe. Just defend this territory. They really want to attack. We can give up this territory too. Kind of concentrate our forces down here. My main goal is to take these guys out. They don't have a lot of soldiers down here, which is good. There we go. All right. So they called all these guys in. German Reich's packed. Just, we're not fighting Yunnan as well right now, so that's fine. Move in quickly if you can. Do we get military access? That'd be good. Alright, there we go. And now you guys can move up to the front as well. Warp up again would be nice, but that's okay. Move in if you can. While they're distracted, we shall attack. And so far, I'd say it's going pretty darn well. But then again, we just started, so we'll see. Get as many resources as possible, everybody. Shang-Chi, uh, as much as we want that now. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. That's very nice. Good job, guys. The general just here, just in case. Liao Hui, who? It doesn't matter. <clears throat> All that matters is they're distracted and that they can't move, so we can take out Hunan as fast as possible. Then. Go in. There you go. Cheng De. I kind of doubt that would capitulate them completely, but any amount of group that we can capitulate immediately will be worth it. Oh, okay then. Very nice. Very cool. Tombo, Tuobo. Ah, yes. We could have nailing bade you, but we'll just kill you off in person. Help that out. That'll be good. We're probably out of guns. Oh my goodness, yes we are. That sucks. For now, let's save on guns if we can. Improved subs, nice. Better subs, yes. Maratiana, yeah, why not? Not bad, not bad. So you guys stop attacking. Even though you guys are doing really well in some of these areas. Draw to hold. That's fine for now. We'll let the infantry do most of the talking. Actually, up out here. Good, good, good. Hey, AOG, screw you, AOG. Attack shang -Chi? Yeah, we're definitely not going to attack shang -Chi right now. Snake, snake, snake. Uh, Naning? Naning? Go 
we going here? Fly it across. Fly it across. Developing a edge. Anything else here? Nope. That's okay. Do we get more resources? Not really. We've got, we got plenty of steel though right now. Holy fortresses. To counter superior foe, our troops shall be trained in how to make for themselves a superior, superior four-year fortifications. Dubbed holy fortresses by some. These will serve as both defense positions on the front and resupply points for after the front has been moving around. Nice. Send a Gambia. That's fine. Bro, just go down here. Now, we got a lot of red, which is not good, but... I can't imagine these guys being able to stop us too much, in all honesty. There you go, that's good. Keep moving in. Moving in, Nanning. Help take these guys out, too. We need Henan. Yes, please. Good. All the way down there. Who owns this? Deutsch Ossasian? Ah, yes. Force it. Anything else? No. Wish other people would offer us stuff though. That's a shield up there, just in case. Where's your expert for that? That's fine. Good. Get all these divisions off. Don't stop. Seriously, do not stop. They have no organization. They can't repair and heal themselves up. Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. Hmm. Nice. Let's go 40. Better planes, maybe. Oh, and then we found some enemy divisions. Which is whatever. Uh, let's grab a thing of aluminum. Thank you, sir. I'll grab two. We could really use it, that stuff. Good job, guys. Good job. I do that like that. It's fine. Whatever. Another division destroyed. If we can get to Nanning, that would pretty much capitulate the entire faction. But I kind of doubt we can. Let's see what we can do though. Now go here. If if Nanning is completely open, that'd be great. But I kind of doubt it is. We've taken probably quite a few losses. Oh, 101,000. That's not terrible. Oh, they're so close to capitulating though. Oh, Nanning is not open yet. Not open for business. It's fine. Alright, anything else here? Tanks? Uh, go to limited conscription for now. It's fine. Don't get encircled here. Good. How's this front looking over here? That's looking okay-ish. Not great. I don't really want to push there. Anything over here? Logistics with Young Ma. Be nice. You, since you're here anyways, how about here? Keep taking territory. Take it away from them. If they can't have it, if we can't have it, they can't have it. Ah, developing a trump card. Let's redevelop the Imperial Army to make it really effective. Against warlords in the Japanese, there have been concerns raised about the relative one-sided nature of our strategies. The question of rectifying this, while well, universally asked, has had no clear answers. Three main proposals have been put on the desk by our military staff and are at our disposal. The first plan will be to invest in bicycle units, a technology mostly used by the Japanese neighbors in the Netherlands. This will give our infantry a much needed boost to their mobility at little cost. The second will be investing in artillery. The development of a modern, good quality artillery corps will be the hammer we need to smash our foes and our current artillery pieces, being old and outdated. Relics. <clears throat> Third and most controversial plan will allow for greater development of tanks, although our army does not traditionally rely on tanks. Investing in the weapons of the future might just be the edge our army needs to compete against invaders and warlords alike. As much as I want bicycles, it would slow us down. It would slow us down. We have already have horses, so. Uh, hello. That's not good. Um, you know what? Come down here. I've got a use for you. Come on. Break them down. That's a very costly way of doing things, but you know what? It'll work. If we can just get rid of Guiz Hu, that's the main thing. Yeah, that's seriously the main thing. La Beria. Good. We won down there, which is good. Keep pushing across this way into here and here, and then it'll be done. Nice. That's good over there, too. Watch out, fighting Cuba now. Watch out. The Cubanos. 
You should be able to win down here and should be able to win up here as well. We do have air superiority, which is pretty nice. A lot of red, though, which is really bad. <sighs> this is so stupid. These infantry divisions are actually very good. Or pretty decent. Maybe not very good, but pretty darn decent. <clears throat> Let me time to call off the attack for now. Hold. Let's get some more strength back. You just go and invade. This is stupid. You should have already taken this tile already. And easily have taken it as well. To add to that. So. Um, you should be able to take this tile as well. Come on, take it. Take the goddamn tile. They're not that strong. They really are not that strong. Anything here? No. Oh, yeah, holy crap. That's a lot of green. It's not that good in terms of uh, stuff, but we, we have heard our organization quite a bit already, so. Let them attack us. We've lost a lot of guys. Oh, but we're going to kill so many of these guys. That's not even funny. Uh, cavalry expert. Go with combined arms. I want to increase blitz and circlement chances if we need it. Yeah, no. 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 For the love of God, no. Let's do this one well. I'm not sure we can get this in time, but that's alright. You're not going to lose here. You, I swear to God, I'd rather have you all die than you lose here. Anything else here? There's sport. Um, do we have any more resources yet? Not really too much, which sucks. And then a loyal and devout military, which would be helpful. Uh, and, but in about months, we've converted the Qing army from a mediocre crop force into one whose morale and fever matches the best in the world. Though a foreign soldier may have all the bells and whistles, each soldier challenge shall stand when they run, knowing that he has the favor of heaven on his side. And that's the end of those disgusting enemies, which honestly took forever, and I'm actually really kind of pissed off at the devs, because it just take so long to capitulate these stupid enemies for no, literally no reason. I mean, th those enemies were just grinding into the Shang-Chi, and we still couldn't take them out, which is incredibly stupid. I don't like fighting in China. Never fight at Land War in Asia, but it just, it's not fun. It's seriously not fun doing that. Um, currently, though, we are trying to integrate a lot of provinces, and we'll continue to do so as we go into the future. But the next time, we're going to actually go ahead and attack Shang-Chi and Xinjiang and do the best we possibly can. And I'm going to send the horses down here to this part area as well, but the final foe. Oh! Wait, what? I didn't click. Well, maybe we maybe we don't want to do that yet. But as much as we have struck enemies with enemies within China, concessionists, warlords, and revolutionaries alike, there remains the looming shadow of the paramount threat of China. The Japanese and the Fengshan stooges over our very doorsteps you must drive them back to the islands from whence they came once for all. I don't like this. It doesn't make any sense why we just immediately go to war. You should always get a war goal. Why? What? Well, it doesn't make any sense to have that type of focus. But we're gonna go back and make sure we don't go to war because the devs weren't thinking about how to actually order this. It's, it's really time for Tibet to die. I, I'm kind of tired of this, these stupid wars. They're just so grindy, you know. But we're doing okay against Burma and these other guys. I don't know why we're at war with Tibet, though. Why are we at war with Tibet? I don't understand that. Why, seriously, why are we at war with Tibet? Here, go in here, too. Hop out. Burma shouldn't be too much of a problem. We are going to go to war with Shangxi immediately, and then Xinjiang. And then, of course, get to quoting more stuff. But yeah, this is really stupid, like I said earlier. Why, why don't you just get a war goal? Just give us a war goal. Just to get it done over with, so we can do a heavenly triumph eventually. So, like, it doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> it just doesn't make any sense. And hopefully we don't struggle in here. I mean, I know there's mounds and stuff, but, like, these guys have been grinding away and away and away and away, and they have plenty of enough manpower. But we'll see. We'll see, you know. Sometimes the dead are just like, well, let's, uh, whatever goes. Whatever goes. Who cares? Who cares? And it's something I severely disagree with, but, you know, whatever. Uh, actually, for you guys... I want you to force the attack, but we don't have enough command power, which sucks, but whatever. Um, do that one next. Doing really well against Tibet. The only thing we need to take out is this group. How are they not moving? How, how are they moving, actually? Lots of cavalry. Uh, plenty of army XP now. Garys. Hopefully enough equipment. We are, we're really out of uh, artillery. Oh. Oh, there goes America. We're really out of artillery. But that's okay. Uh, do we have any anti-air? No, we don't have that much. 18 combat this is okay. We want some motorized artillery, probably, actually. If anything. You guys still doing okay-ish. Oh, we encircled. Nice. 
Conscription uh, crisis. Crisis? Crisis. We have only four divisions left here. And once this area is done, that would be really good. We'll take these guys out as well. And we're doing really well over here too. Kill them all off. They're bugs. They need to be killed. Tibet's almost gone. shang chis almost gone as well. <sighs> this is so stupid. I will force the attack if we have to. I will kill every single one of these people off if we have to as well. Eh, Tibet's gone. That's good though. Thank you very much, Tibet. Thank you for playing. I'm not sure why you were in the war, but we'll take your resources. We'll gladly take your resources, man. Anything around here? Cavalry? Ooh, why not? Combined arms would be pretty good, too. Nice. And there goes Tibet. So now we can focus on these guys a whole lot more, and then hopefully we'll focus on these guys as well. Tactical bombers. Nice. 41. Grab some better arty, of course, as well. Why can't we just force the attack? Because we don't have enough command power, that's why. Hopefully they keep going down, but we'll see. Actually, let's get an uh, agency so we can start uprooting some more entrenchment. We actually might be able to win here, too. Just taking the capital, that's the most important thing. I'm not going to stop the attacks, either. We got enough manpower that it doesn't matter to me. We have more than enough manpower for the future. Uh, do a lot of this stuff, too. We're going to get a lot of territories as well. I'll screen. And then probably the next episode, which will be the last one, we'll probably just go ahead and, like, hopefully win the wars around here. Also, do this one, too. This will help out so much. Get some radar. Get stuff like that. Uh, get some of that, too. There you go. Fall of Dublin. All right. And what do we have over here? Attack bombers. Nice. More land doctrine. Yes. More soft attack immediately. Yes, please. How are we doing down here? Doing okay-ish. Supply is probably really bad down here, though. I mean, it's Southeast Asia. What do you expect? It's Asia, in general. What do you expect? Build them roads up. We'll be fine, hopefully. Um, in the meantime... Go ahead. Maybe stop attacking. So, a little surprised the Japanese haven't attacked us yet, but... Still doing relatively okay. You know, there's no point to not stop attacking. And if everyone's, like, stationary... Ooh, actually. Then they can't really move too much. I mean, they are a little bit defeated over here, but still. Don't care. You keep attacking. Bodies are not that precious. Don't let them move in. Do not let them move in. Oh, sure, guys. Mexico? Yeah, we'll take some motorized. Yeah, thanks, Mexico. We appreciate it. Oh, come on. We were so close. At this point, they're taking a lot of attrition. And, of course, we are, too. But they can't keep up with the losses, can they? Maybe a little bit. But equipment-wise, no, they can't. Any damage we do, they cannot recover from. Ah, Bur Burma's gone. Wow, look at that. Thanks, Burma. I'm very surprised we can't peace out with the Germans. I'm very, 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 very surprised. Construction, output, and then next up we'll go to Xinjiang. Feng Shun. Oh! Well, Governor Yan Xian has not formally aligned himself with the Feng Shun government. He's long ties with Zheng Zulin and supported him during the last day of Feng War. Our recent conflict with Shang-Chi has caught Zheng off guard and unprepared, but that will not last. If we are not able to destroy Shang-Chi quickly, then the Feng Shun government will surely join the war to protect its former ally. Uh, we'll see. If we could force the attack, that'd be great. <coughs> With anybody here. Nice. Come on, I know we can win here. And getting that extra artillery attack would be super helpful. Uh, 42, 41. 42, 41. 41. Extraction, maybe? 57 days left. Come on, we can do this. This is so stupid. If you retreat into a tile that's also getting attacked, you really should not be able to do very much here. National take over that. No, you don't see national take over that area, but whatever. I'm making some sub threes, which would be really good. And uh, do that one too. That'd be good. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 99, come on. 98, god dang it. Oh, they're barely... Oh, we got them. Look at all those divisions. I want you to kill them all off. No, I want them dead. There we go. So now... We won. It's very nice. Which means you guys are going to come over here and help us take out these guys over here. We have too many divisions for this down here, but whatever. And now we got to get ready for the Japanese. 
uh, something like that. Sure, whatever. Uh, supply before we even do that, because we'll end the episode here pretty much. We'll do that and give us we all the way over to there. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we will finish off this campaign and hopefully expel Japanese from mainland Asia. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.